Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, even hit the thanks button. All right, Grand Daniel on 106.7 The Fan, where I also write columns, we're having an argument about whether or not Bradley Beal should be able to come back one day and score 160 points to tie Elvin Hayes as the team's career scoring leader. And uh, they pretty much, I think, were against it. And I would say just to bring Bradley back at the end of his career to do that, I think would be offensive to a lot of the Washington Wizards Bullets fans. The Big E was a big deal, okay? One of the best players in the NBA history, you know, helped this team win a championship. Bradley Beal is a very good player, but he's not an immortal player like Elvin Hayes. So I looked at the stats book. I'll be, I'll be a geek for once, talk about numbers. Big E played 731 games. Okay, he scored 15,551 points, 9,300 rebounds. You know, he, Brad was basically, uh, he's 160 points less, uh, but he has 2,837 rebounds, which is about uh, 7,000, 6,500 less than, than Big E. Um, he, you know, Brad's played four more years than Elvin did here, uh, but has 5,000 less minutes. And here's a good one. Big E had more than 1,500 blocks, Bradley has less than 300. <laughs> That's a big number difference. So I would not say, oh, come on back, you know, score a few points, and we'll call you the all-time. No, because the all-time great player on the team should be somebody of a championship caliber, among all the things. Who was number three when points scored? Malone. Remember Jeff Malone? I'm a little surprised by that. Uh, Wall was fourth. And Unsell, if you're going to argue who's the greatest player ever, to me it's between Big E and Unsell, who played together. He also played 984 games, 35,000 minutes, 10,600 points, 13,000 rebounds. I don't know. That's another day to disguise. Would I take Big E over Beal? Do I take him over Wes? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming.